Thursday morning. We are pumped. The fans are back in the stands, which we're very excited about. And we are getting ready to drop the green flag. In fact, we are talking with the actor who is going to be waving that green flag, actor Milo Ventimiglia from This Is Us. One of my favorite shows is here, so we're very excited. Milo, it's great to have you here in Indianapolis. Thanks, yeah, I'm really happy to be here, so really happy. So here's the story of how Milo came to the Indy 500. It's pretty interesting, how'd you get the um, my buddy, my, my buddy Connor Daly, he just shot me a message and said, hey, do you want to come to Indy? I go, yeah. <laughs> and then I looked to my buddy Russ, I'm like, do you want to go to Indy? He goes, yeah. <laughs> and then we got out here and it was like, do you want to wave the green flag? Can we put you on the carpet? Can we like give you the tour and all this? And it was, it was, you know, kind of overwhelming because I'd, I'd known about the race. I'd watched a bunch of races when I was a kid. And just, I'm a huge race fan and I know how big this particular venue is, the history of motorsports, all that. So to be invited here, I'm just like, you know, thanks IndyCar, thanks, thanks uh, uh, Doug Bowles, like I'm really just happy to be here. Yeah, I, I understand you were able to get out in a two-seater. Yeah, with uh, Mario Andretti. Wow. Which, I haven't even talked about it with my dad yet. I mean, my dad and I, we watched Mario Andretti race when I was a kid, and when they told me like, hey, do you want to take a two-seater around the track and experience what the drivers experience to a degree, and I'm like, yeah, absolutely, I'm totally down. Um, and then they're like, you're going to be in the car with Mario Andretti, and I'm like, He's 84, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, no, I, I think I trust his instincts on a track. I think yeah. I'm going to do great. Yeah, but you, how fast did you go? I fast. <laughs> he, he goes 180 miles an hour, yeah. and he got pretty close to the wall. Didn't and, that's, and that's what I was doing. I was trying to take in the experience as a racing driver. I'm like, okay, let me look at, like, the wind. Let me understand, you know, the wind socks around the track. Let me come up against that wall and I'm like, wow, we are right we up against it. That wall. And then you're feeling the G-force and everything. Right. I mean, I've, I've been in a bunch of race cars. I've been up in F-16s with our military and it's like, it is an, an unbelievable experience to be seated behind the legend of Mario Andretti going 200 miles around a track. It's, it's incredible. Okay, so the next experience you're gonna have is waving that green flag. Yeah. What have you been told about what that feels like and what, what that's going to be like for you? Exhilarating, exciting. Um, I know, uh, you know, it only happens once a year, so I'm like, don't drop it. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Like, I hope they give me two flags. Literally, just like, just go as crazy as I can with them. Just make sure the drivers are seeing it. Make sure the fans are seeing it. Which, again, is is such an exciting thing. I mean, to have fans again is such an encouraging thing about what we're coming out of too, as a nation. To be like, oh no, no, like. We're on the right path, so I'm, I'm really excited to be here and proud of IndyCar to kind of lead that race. Before we let you go, we need to ask you about This Is Us. Yeah. Next year will be the final season. Yes, sir. This is a hit TV show. People love this. Why does America love This Is Us and Jack Pearson, your character, so You know, I, I think there's a lot of connective tissue with what the, the Pearson family is experiencing and what the, uh, I guess, community of the world knows in real life. You know, it's, it's not a show for one particular group of people. It's kind of for everyone. And what I, I love about playing Jack is he's not without his flaws. He's not without his, his short shortcomings or missteps. He's a real human being as he's written. And I try and put a lot of that into it. So he may not make the best choice, but he also has the best intention. So I think in a way, it kind of gives all of us um, an opportunity to forgive ourselves but yet try to do better, you know, be a better version of ourselves, listen more to our, our spouses, inspire our kids, be a better community builder, if anything. And it's just, it's, a, it's one of the, it has got to be one of the best jobs I've ever had because of the impact it's had. So I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful. And going into that last season is, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm getting chills now because I already know kind of what's coming, and I, and I, I think it's going to be a really beautiful wrap-up. Milo Ventimiglia, glad to have you with us here Thank in you. Indy. This is us. Thank yeah. you so much. Enjoy Thanks. your visit. This Thanks. is wonderful. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.